Are these windows hiding more than just cannabis products? While some pot shop owners say they could be hiding armed and violent robberies from the outside world, they're now calling for a change to the Ontario rule they say is creating safety concerns. We're inside of this box and we're removed from the streetscape. We don't feel part of the community. The frosted windows at Kay's Pot Shop in Leslieville can create a sometimes tense and uneasy atmosphere for employees, especially at night when the inside of the shop is completely hidden from anyone passing by. Anybody can come in and I've had colleagues have robberies in their stores, assaults in their stores. There's really a security concern because we're, we're enclosed, we're shut off from the world. The windows on the vast majority of pot shops in Ontario are completely covered. To comply with the rule requiring cannabis products and accessories not be visible from the exteriors of stores, specifically to shield the products from minors. Where's the enticement? None of them are terribly pretty containers or enticing. We don't understand how seeing this very plain packaging from the street could possibly induce children to be interested in cannabis products. And so we'd, we'd like to see this rule changed. The rule was changed in Alberta last summer after an uptick in cannabis store robberies with 42 recorded in the year and a half leading up to the change. And they realized that it was a crime of opportunity. With the frosted windows, it was giving um, criminals a chance to come in and do whatever they wanted, have lots of time to do it because nobody could see that anything was going on. Now, we carry panic buttons. We have a lot of security measures inside the store. But it's still that extra layer of concern where someone comes in, they can do whatever they want. The Alcohol and Gaming Commission of Ontario tells us there are many ways in which the requirement can be met without completely covering windows or blocking all visibility into the store. For instance, they say some stores have arranged their displays to be inward facing, but we're told redesigning a store can be expensive, invasive and complicated. I know a handful that don't have frosted windows and that do have different ways of obscuring the window. But the majority, it's, it's a challenge and an expense. The harm that's, that's potentially caused by having the frosted windows probably outweighs the harm that would be caused from being able to see into the store. I think that we've, we've shown that we're handling um, cannabis sales responsibly and respectfully. Toronto police tell us there have been three cannabis store robberies so far this year. That's actually down from four at this time last year. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.